Motors are used in many fields of science, technology, and engineering to make various devices such as electric cars, computer fans, DVD players, and many more. But how do these motors work? In this animation, I'm going to explain the working principle of a simple DC motor. The DC motor is made up of the following key parts. Two poles of concave shaped magnet to provide a uniform and radiomagnetic field. An armature coil that rotates when supplied with current, split ring commutators, and carbon brushes for connecting the armature to the power source. The motor works on the principle of the force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field, also known as the Lorentz force. When an electric current is supplied to the armature, a Lorentz force is exerted on each side of the armature coil. The direction of the force is given by Fleming's left hand rule. According to Fleming's left hand rule, if you arrange the forefinger, the middle finger and the thumb such that they are at right angles to each other, then let the forefinger point in the direction of the magnetic field which always points from north to south pole of the magnet and the middle finger to point in the direction of current then the thumb will give the direction of the force on the current carrying conductor. When the coil is in a vertical position, there is no contact between the carbon brushes and the commutator. No current flows through the coil and hence no Lorentz force. The coil however is pushed over due to its momentum and inertia. After passing this vertical position, the contacts with the carbon brushes and the two sides of the armature coil are interchanged. So this keeps the current flowing in the same direction, hence the motor rotates in the same direction. When the terminals of the battery are reversed, the direction of rotation of the motor also reverses. A shaft is usually attached to the armature and it rotates with it. This is the part that we see when we are using the motor. Thanks for watching this video, if you like this give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on what animation you would like to see next and we'll see you in the next video.